Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I'm showing you how I make my headache relief shower steamers. A few months ago, I did a tutorial on a sinus relief shower steamer. The video was really popular. I got a lot of requests for doing the headache shower steamer. And so I thought I would do that, especially with the busy holidays coming up and cold and flu season. This is one of my favorite shower steamers. And so I thought it would be fun to do a tutorial for this. You will find the recipe as well as where to purchase everything below in the description of the video. Now, if you're new to making shower steamers, you'll want to check out my basic shower steamer tutorial where I break down these steps a lot slower. Um, also in the sinus relief shower steamer tutorial, I do go through a lot of frequently asked questions. So um, if you do have questions as you're going through this, check out that other video because it might answer some of your questions. A shower steamer is basically a bath bomb, but instead of putting it in the tub, you put it in your shower. It's made with baking soda and citric acid, so it fizzes. And then it has a fragrance oil or a fragrance oil and essential oil blend in it. And what happens is as it sits on the floor in your shower, and the water hits it and activates it, it starts fizzing, releasing all of those effervescent fragrances into the air, creating a really nice spa-like experience in your shower. I do have a really exciting announcement at the end of this video. I have a new shower steamer coming out that I've had tons of requests for, and I'll be doing a tutorial for that before Christmas. So make sure you wait till the end to see what that new shower steamer will be. And with that said, let's grab some supplies and get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is measure out your dry ingredients. So in this bowl, I have my baking soda and my white kale and clay. I actually measure out my citric acid in a separate bowl. So I've got my baking soda and my white kale and clay in this bowl. And in this bowl, I have my citric acid all measured out separately. Then we're going to measure out our liquid ingredients. So in this container, I have my fragrance oil, essential oil blend. I've got my poly sorbet 80 and I have some 91% rubbing alcohol. So the fragrance oil we'll be using is called Headache. It's from uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus and they describe it as a blend of crisp peppermint and cooling eucalyptus, which I think perfectly describes it. The poly sorbet 80 I'm using is from Nurture Soap. It's my favorite one. I will put a link for that below. And what this does is help slow down the fizzing action of our shower steamer, making it last longer in our shower. You'll also find more information in my frequently asked questions section of the sinus relief tutorial, which is listed below. Then I have my mica and I'll be using this really pretty blue vibrance from Nurture Soap. I have a scale. I, I like to weigh everything with a scale. I break those steps down in my basic shower steamer tutorial. I weigh, uh, measure out everything with a strainer to make sure we have nice, smooth shower steamers with no clumps in them. And then I have a big whisk, a small whisk, a spatula, and some measuring spoons. And then I will be mixing this in my KitchenAid, so a stand mixer. You can do this by hand, it just will take longer. So if um, you, you would just go back and forth with the whisk and the spatula. And then these are the molds I use. These are from Wholesale Supplies Plus. They're my favorite. They're this beautiful little lotus and I'll put a link for those below. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is measure your mica into your baking soda and white kale and clay. So I'm going to go back and forth between my whisk and my spatula, making sure that I scrape the bottoms of the bowl. And our goal here is to get all of that mica mixed smoothly into our baking soda and white kale and clay. And it should look like this when you're done. Now, the blue doesn't look very dark right now. As we add the liquid, that will darken. So in this little container, I've got all my liquid ingredients, my rubbing alcohol, my fragrance oil and my poly sorbet 80. And I'm going to give that a good stir and then I'm going to take it and I'm going to add it to my dry ingredients. And I used to drizzle it in these days. I just dump it in. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just in a hurry. But then what you're going to do is you're going to get that started by taking your spatula and just scraping the sides and start getting that mixed together. 
And then one thing I always do is I grab my container that had the liquid ingredients in it and I dip it into the dry ingredients. You'd be amazed at how much fragrance oil there still is in that little cup. The fragrance oil is the most expensive part of your shower steamer. So you wanna make sure you get all of that into your mixture. Then I'm going to take it over to my stand mixer with the paddle attachment and I stir it for about four to five minutes. And I will pause and using my little rubber spatula, scrape the sides and make sure that I'm scraping all the way to the bottom. So we get a nice mixed, um, even consistency for our shower steamers. So you can see that this color has darkened. That's because the liquid ingredients helped kind of brighten that mica. And now I'm going to take my citric acid I've already pre-measured and I'm gonna start slowly pouring it into my baking soda mixture with my paddle attachment, once again, pausing and using my spatula to scrape the sides. And I, I mix this part for maybe one to two minutes. Um, I will pause and I will um, take the mixture and hold it in the palm of my hand. And if it, if I can drop it back into the mixture and it holds its shape, you're ready to go. If it's not holding together, you'll want to grab your spray bottle that has the rubbing alcohol in it. And I spray maybe four or five sprays, um, let it mix for another minute, and then I try forming it into a ball again. As soon as you get it so you can drop it back into the mixture and it's not falling apart, it's holding its shape, you're ready to go. Now grab your molds and I always lay a piece of parchment paper or freezer paper down and I always stir my mixture with my whisk before I start filling my molds. This will keep the mix mixture nice and airy and then I use the palm of my hand and the tips of my fingers to really push that mixture into my little mold cavities. Now uh, you will find this these steps broken down more in that basic shower steamer tutorial so keep that in mind but I just go through and carefully fill all, all of the molds and um, make sure that I'm brushing the rest of the mixture onto that piece of parchment paper so that I can put it back into my container so I'm not wasting any and then as soon as I've got one filled I set that aside, grab my next mold, and I remember to stir it so because it'll kind of settle in the bowl um, as you're filling your molds. And so make sure you're stirring it. Also, if it starts to dry out at all, you can add a couple spritzes of the rubbing alcohol which will help to keep it the right consistency. I've also added some extra tips and tricks and um, hopefully answers to questions below in the description of this video. So make sure you check that out. Okay, so this is what they look like. I'm gonna let them sit overnight. And when they're dry and you can tell by pressing your finger into them, if they're nice and hard, they're ready to unmold. So I've taken a cutting board, I put a piece of parchment paper over it and I flip them over. And if they're nice and dry, they usually pop right out. And that's it, you guys. We have some awesome shower steamers for headaches. I plan on giving a lot of these away for Christmas. I'm making a lot of my own gifts this year. It's been a crazy year, so I wanted to do some handmade gifts to kind of save on money and just do something super thoughtful. Um, I do have a tutorial on how I package my shower steamers. I will put a link for that below in that I go through all of the supplies I use to package these and exactly how I do that. So so make sure to check that out. And my exciting announcement is I am doing a menthol shower steamer. I have had so many requests for this. I'm really pleased with how these turned out. I'm excited to share the recipe with you. I'm also making a lot of these as gifts with cold and flu season here and being in the middle of a pandemic. I just feel like this is a really thoughtful um, and nice gift to have during this cold and flu season. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. I do my best to answer as many questions as I can. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. That would be awesome. Follow me on Instagram for a sneak peek into my crazy life, as well as hints at my new tutorials or projects that I'm working on. You guys are amazing. I'm really grateful for you and I'm grateful for all of your kind words and your support. And we'll see you guys next time.